Hello, hello, hello. How's it going, everyone? How, how's it hanging? We're playing some... Death's Door. Some more. This game's fantastic. And we be starting. Alright. We were in the swamp. Oh no. We got some controller drift. Mm, okay. Try this again. What the heck? Okay. Went away. <laughs> Weird. Alright, we last left off and we're... We're trying to get into this Frog King's Fortress. That's where we are. Oh, he's panicking. He's a panicking. Ah! Okay. New enemy defeated. We'll pull the lever. Sure, we'll plant a seed. We don't need it yet, but... Ow! Our burb is getting very strong. Ow! Have to take care of these jerks. Whew. They were not very nice. They were not very nice either. I ran into that. Whoops. Death! That was my bad. Alright, we're just gonna... Ow! 
Ow! Are you kidding me? Okay. Is this guy stuck? He looked a little stuck there, dude. Are you kidding me? into it. Alright, we opened up that path. Explode ourselves right there. I think. Man, that guy takes a lot of hits. Let's backtrack for a second. What was this direction? Anything? No. Okay. We were heading the right way. How many souls do we have? 1200, almost 1300. We need 1500 for our next power up level. Onward. Ow! Oh my gosh, we almost got sniped.
Almost done to snap us. Oh, interesting. Didn't know that these broke when you hit them. Continuing onward. Lots of archers. That was a big hit we took right there. Big ol' hit. Might as well consume that. the life scene. Is that something we could have hit right there? Maybe not. Looks like we could hit it from there, but perhaps not. Oh, we're probably gonna get up there in a second anyway.
Got a little, little dicey. A little slicey and dicey. A little close. That was a big old chungus boy. Okay. So that links back over there. care of you. Gonna backpedal for a second. Get our little lovely flower over here. Consume it. into the last area here. Where are we at? 1434. This looks like boss time. With Miziel Froggy. Crooked Crow. Clearly my grunts have failed to teach you a lesson. So I'll have to do it myself. After I'm done with you, I'll use my feathers to buff my armor and make it all shiny. It'll be I'll be the most handsome creature under the shadow of the door. Alright, squishy time. King of the Swamp. Guardian of the Flooded Fortress. Lord of his domain, ruler of all. He surveys champion of the people, keeper of the oaths. First name... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Smacking him in the back. <clears throat> Alright, we're. Did we tear his armor off? Oh. He big ol'. Big ol' boy. Alright, we need to equip this. Alright, there we go.
Okay. Alright. This is a cool fight. I like this. I'm all sad that didn't hit. A little sad that didn't hit. Smack your hand. All right, Mr. Toad. You dead. That was a cool boss fight. I really enjoyed that. That was cool. We gather here today to mourn the passing of the Frog King. <laughs> A bold and fearless leader, he was persecuted for his simple desire to place all in the forest under his rule. And occasionally his bottom. His reign is ended and his absence will be felt across the swamp. By your head in remembrance, pay your last respects. <laughs> his time in this world is over. Some will be pleased the king is dead, but a life is a life, and in death we are all unified. Profound. Ah! Almost walked right off. Oh? What this? A giant arrowhead. I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of one of these. Goodbye, Frog King. So long, farewell. What is this thing? Why does it just stare at me? So joyful, so carefree, so annoying. These funny little forest spirits have appeared out of nowhere. It's quite, it's quite, a, quite a stir around the office. I've had to file a lot of paperwork. Paperwork due to the infestation. It's great! I think this one likes me. Sup, dude? I would love to increase my combat ability. We are strong. So strong. Do you have anything to say? I wonder what it would be like to live free knowing that you're going to die. So these are all of our little trinkets and knickknacks we have acquired. Guess let's go back to the Lost Cemetery.
Oh snap, we are doing damage. Certainly been keeping Muzi, however, it's nice to have something to focus on. Sending the dead on the journey may seem like a depressing task, but it gives me a sense of purpose. Hmm. Still cannot defeat him. He lies a guardian of the door, preserver of order and home to stray souls. I think we read that before. So, where are we going next? Have I seen one of these? Structure has a twin, a secret lies within. That's to the urn witch place, which we don't need to go to anymore. I think once we get the little grapple thing, that's when I'm, I'm assuming it's a grapple of some sort. That's when it will be useful to go back and revisit some areas. I like this electric hammer we have. Let's wait to the stranded sailor. Can we do anything over here? No. There's like a rusty shield or something up there, but we can't get to it yet. Cannot get to it. Hello again, how goes your adventure? Yeah, Mr. Mr. Squid Guy. <laughs> it's a neat backpack which I fashioned for myself out of an old tarp. I use my opposable thumbs, which are things that I definitely have. They're always very impressed. Yes. <laughs> Make me a feast, you... You corpse. Now let me tell you a little something while you ingest nutrients. To the west of the cemetery behind a rock, you'll find a passage. But it will require some sort of explosion to break it open. <laughs> I 
Okay, so it sounds like there's something I can go explode. Received Grunt's old mask. Hello again, little bird. Me come far and wide see many things. We're all outside very beautiful. Love, laugh, live. That all Grunt want. So that's the guy I... I saved. That's the guy I saved. Okay, so somewhere over here. I'll just explore for a bit. I'm okay with that. Doing a bit of exploration. Some exploratory work. Let's see what's up here. Climb on up. So said behind a cemetery, there's a rock that can explode. I don't know if it's talking about specifically this cemetery or like this whole area. Because this whole area is referred to as the cemetery. I don't know. Oh, we're gonna plant a seed there. For later. I'm assuming we're gonna have some sort of boss fight over there. something. Okay. Ow!
Jeez, dude. I fell off. Getting dicey. Woo! Woo! That was dicey. A silent servant has been vanquished and their soul power added to yours. Your bomb spell will now no longer dam your bomb spell now no longer damages you, only your foes. Oh, that's nice. Okay. We'll take it, thank you. That was a Battle. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Sweet. It's actually a very nice perk. Stuff it, dude. Let's go. Hey, can I hop off? I had to wait. Okay, we still can't go over here. Albeit there is a chest that I would really like to have. I don't know if there's anything else for us to do right now here. I'm thinking that there's not... Oh, actually, you know what? There's one... One little place I'd like to look at. It was like a little dungeon area I didn't have access to. Yeah, how's it going, Usku? Doing good, awesome. I am glad to hear that.
Yeah, I think it was down there. Here's this first. Hmm. Oh. A little wall there we can break. Cool. This looks really pretty where you can get this. Uh, I got this on Steam. For 20 bucks. Whoa, you are strong. Thank you. Okay, this is not where we're looking to go. Yeah, how's it going, Jeff? Yeah, this game I I I would recommend to anyone. This game has been super fun so far. It actually just came out yesterday, so it's like brand spanking new. Need sleep, we'll be lurking our. <laughs> you get some sleep then, Jeff. Yeah, this game just barely came out yesterday. Would recommend. going. I'm looking for a little... little area that we tried accessing before that we couldn't do anything. It might be in here. Yeah. Wait, have we been here? I guess we have been here. Okay, we've been here, guys. Oh, I know exactly where we are now. Okay. Got a little, little twisted around. Alright, we need to go find a teleporter door. Yeah, this game's very pretty. The soundtrack, it's been delightful so far. It's just been an awesome game. It's really smooth, the combat's fun. I think it's just also very adorable, just the way this game plays and everything. You're a freaking crow. Ending people's lives. I think I'm going the right way for where we need to go. You just realized? <laughs> Take your money. Yeah, we're, we're a little crow. You have different weapons, lots of collectibles. Uh, you can upgrade your stats. I've pumped all of my upgrades into pure power right now. We are a powerful little crow. We do a hecka amount of damage. And it's challenging. It's a difficult game. It's fun. This is like the little nexus area. Alright. 
Do we want more speed or movement? Mm. Let's get a little bit more haste. Up our movement speed a little bit. Yeah, this is where we teleport between all of our different areas that we've encountered. And the writing in this game, like, the characters they have and the writing and everything, top-notch. This way to the mountaintops via Castle Lockstone, and that way I cannot go, so I guess we are going upwards. Well, hello there, fellow traveler. Go on, tell all. How's your adventure going? Got any exciting tales I could knock out a song about? Reason being, I'm up in these mount I'm up in these here mountains seeking inspiration for my next masterpiece. I heard a monster lives up in the mountaintops. Can you believe it? That drunk fell outside till the stranded sailor said he lost his love to the beast. Fancy that. The way I see it, there's gotta be one heck of an epic ballad awaiting me up ahead. If only I could smash up these blasted rocks blocking the path. Don't worry, I got you. Look at that, mate. You smashed it. You're a legend. You might be even be the inspiration for my next big tune. Yeah, if it's all the same to you, I might just tag along on your adventure. See you around. Yeah, come along. Let me be your muse. Alright, so these are crystals that we can destroy. Oh, they grow back. Interesting. Badger! Badger! How's it going? Mm, okay, there's nothing that way. It's going good? Awesome! Happy to hear that. Do I want to go that way yet? No, not yet. That's where we're supposed to go. But there is more to be discovered this way. Like, dropping down here. And pulling this lever. And dropping down here and pulling this lever. There's a bundle of souls down here. Lovely. Can I fill you in on the story you've missed? You went to bed before I beat the urn witch. Yeah, so we beat the we beat the urn witch first try. By the way, first try. Poggers. Poggies. Yeah, first try on the urn witch. Uh, super fun. We had a little memorial service for her. Some words were spoken, it was beautiful. And then we traveled to the forest, and there a frog, a giant frog, had usurped the forest for his own. He forced a lot of people out, murdered a lot of people. Basically, the forest had become corrupted because of a frog, self-proclaimed frog king. And then we, we done did just murder him at the beginning of the stream. Like, 20, 30 minutes ago. Which, by the way, we one-shot that boss as well. Went well. It went well. Alright, now we are... We're climbing this tower. Oh, let's pull this lever. Did we find out what the urn witch was up to? Who she was working with? So, 
it seemed as though no no concrete answers have been discovered yet. But from what it sounds like, the Urn Witch and the Frog King were both working for whoever my boss is, which I think it's after we defeated the Urn Witch, we went through a door and it didn't take us where we were supposed to. We actually met our boss, who might be our boss, I think. Uh, it's the guy actually who, if we come out here, do you see right above me? There was a statue. There's a statue of this guy with like the lock, the, the key lock on his head. Yeah, that guy. I think this is my boss. Self-proclaimed boss or something, but I think the Urn Witch and the Frog King are working for him, or at least got some power because of him, but the Urn Witch was running experiments that he, she didn't want the, the boss guy to know about, it sounded like. She was trying to achieve immortality by putting urns on people's heads, because apparently that keeps people from... That keeps death from finding people. Masks their appearance, if you will. And then the Frog King, he just wanted power. He wanted that swamp and forest all to himself. Hey again, pal. I hope you don't mind me tagging along. Seems like we need to find a way through this old fortress if we want to get up that mountain. Well, I say we. I mean you. I'll just hang around here and work on the lyrics from an ex-banging tune. Let me know if you find a way up. But, something interesting from the lore so far, each of the different areas that we've traveled to, I mean, I guess the two main areas we've been in with the bosses, the Urnwich area and the forest where the Frog King was, um, in the main dungeon portion, there's souls of old Reapers, little crow guys just like me that were trapped there. And... Um, it looks like upper management has been closing a bunch of portals and doorways and there haven't been a whole lot of souls to reap for reasons that we don't know yet. Just upper management has sealed off a bunch of doors and we're reopening them. I think we're meddling where we're not supposed to. And we freed the souls of Crow's past. So slowly, slowly the story... ...is unraveling here. Uh... Hmm... Looks like we can't access that yet. We'll lower both of these, just for when we come back here. Nope. Yes, so we found some secrets, we got more of each of our... We gained one more health and one more um, power-up. We also got a super power-up on our bomb. So before, we had to stand further away from things, otherwise we'd get damaged. But we fought some crazy boss guy, and after we beat him, he gave us an upgrade on our bomb. So we can stand point-blank and bomb stuff and be okay. Nifty little upgrade to our bombs. And we have this electric hammer. The electric hammer is pretty cool. It's my favorite weapon so far. I really wanted the umbrella to be good, but it's just not. The umbrella sucks. It's kind of sad. Oh! Ow!
And we fully upgraded our our damage output. We are a strong little bird. Ow! Oh, this guy took out our our opponent there. What about magic? We have done zero upgrades to our magic so far. Not even the first upgrade that we can do. Which honestly is probably a bad idea because I use my magic pretty often. But I just have not... I have just not used my ma <laughs> I have not upgraded my magic. It's so cold. Yeah, so these are the pigeon, not the pigeon, the um, crow spirits that we've been freeing as we've gone along. Oh yeah, thank you. Let's get our health. Yeah, but so far we have not upgraded our magic once, which is kind of funny. Because I feel like upgrading our magic would probably be a really good thing to do, but I just wanted my damage output to be where it is. Man, the enemies in this area, I mean, we're just barely discovering them, but they seem like... They do a bit of damage. Here lies Lord, Lord Lockstone, the first Lord of Doors to make a deal with death. Their legacy is inestima inestimable, and their reign absolute. A cold ruler concerned with law and order who consolidated power and would go on to build the foundation of the Hall of Doors. All right, we lit a torch. Just like you as a mod, exactly. Oh, hello. Hello, spirit. This is the resting place of we, the Lord of Doors. I am Lord Lockstone, for whom this crypt was named. We, Lord of Doors, were an anomaly. A mistake of the universe, some might say. But is that not an apt description of all life? A mistake of the universe, one which grows and thrives. Existence born into consciousness, and to preserve that consciousness, it is most important. Is the most important and noble goal. A mistake of the universe, just like you. <laughs> is, that, is that what you're going with today? How are you, Quack? Oh boy! Ow! Where did you come from, dude? Leave me alone! Ah! Take your shield off, take your armor off. Got him. Oh, we got big chunky. Big old chungus. Ow! Don't smack me. Who gave you permission? This game's super fun. Like, if I had to give, 
If I had to give this a rating out of 10 today, just from what I've played, I'd probably give this a 9 out of 10. Entombed alongside our lords, I suppose some would call it an honor. I would call it a tragedy. Yeah, without finishing this game, I'd probably give this a 9 out of 10 just for how much fun this has been and everything about it. Uh, yeah. Let's get some health. Let's go this way. Glad I went this way. Uh, Lever, what did you do? Lever did that. Clever Lever. Oh, okay. This is where we are heading. Ooh, a life seed. Sunk you. Okay. Let's go in the door that we just unlocked. Do you have anything new to say? Hunting souls for breakfast, lunch, and no. <laughs> they're, they're writing songs. Those lasers really took their time there. The lever crunk. Don't mind me, just passing through. Plant a seed. Then we'll have a little fight here. Sure. Ow! I got turned on. Jeez. Get him! Alright, what do you have to say? Here lies Lord Theodore. <laughs> the first successor in the lineage of lords. Their transition to power was smooth and their reign egalitarian. Remembered for their fair nature and forcing better working conditions for reapers. Let's free you, you soul. My life is ending, but this lord plans to live forever. It doesn't feel fair to me. Fire we uh it must be you. I haven't dropped any frames, it would appear. Hmm, there's a fire we can light over there, but I don't know how to get over here. Oh, it 
Looks like there's a way from this room? Not from that room. Hmm. Well, we'll just press forward. Ow! Learned my lesson there. Seems fine for you. Fail of the day. Oh boy, we're a little sewer burb. That was pretty cool. You actually accidentally turned on your heat, oh no. How hot was it today for you? Where are we going? going on a journey, guys. An ancient crown. Feels unusual to touch, as if it once contained life. Not that hot. Slight bit toastier since you turned on the heat, though. You remember nudging the thermostat as you walked down the hallway and thought you should check it? Probably a good thing you did. A creature who knew 10,000 things, and eyes and tentacles and sometimes a wings. <laughs> uh, how much do we have? We're waiting for 600 souls. Okay, we've been that way. I feel like this is the way to go, though. Because there's a lever up here. Yeah, having your heat on during the summer does not sound like a good time. So we can heal up right here since we backtracked a little bit. This is where we just were. Oh, we got a key, didn't we? This key will probably unlock something. That is what keys tend to do. Yeah, there wasn't anything else up there. Trying to remember where I found a key door. Oh, there's the key door right below us. We're going in here first, though. 
Ayo. All right, mini boss of some kind or just a gauntlet? Get wrecked, son. Get destroyed. All right, we'll free you, little bird. Posted in this fortress, I have learned a great deal about the old Lord of Doors. Still don't much care for them. All right, we have officially freed all of the souls here. Still don't have quite 600 souls. But, we can come this way now. We've unlocked this doll. Be careful, Living Reaper. That we shall be. We're back home. We're back home. Oh, we're getting our last magic spell, I think. Ow! Not how we want to start off the fight. Got the goops, the goopsters. Ah, oh, we need to take care of these ranged guys first. They're just gonna get in the way. Oh boy, big old chungus. Whoops, would help if we hit him with our spell. GG's. Just kick it like Link forehead. Oh, 
give to a fellow crow to aid you on your quest. Give me your crown. Hookshot spell acquired. Hoggies! Oh, this one doesn't require magic. Hey! I'm all about this. This appears to be a Reaper's Abandoned Logbook. The removal of the legacy doors has seriously impeded my investigation to the disappearance of the Reapers and in the redacted region. This whole process of transferring to the new system has been a nightmare. I found evidence that many workers were active in the region when the orders were given to cut them off. More worrying still is that the active reaping mission in that area was also purged from the system. Somewhere out there is a soul that has not been reaped on time. It's a recipe for disaster, that's for sure. We all know what happens to souls if they remain alive past their death date. What happens? I don't know. Clue me in. This is where we started our journey. Well, hello there. The Vaga re That Vaga reckons that something big is gonna happen here soon. Know anything about that? Nothing. Know nothing about it. Gone to fix a broken pipe back in three to four years. I don't know why anyone is complaining. These things are adorable, and they like the same TV shows as me. <laughs> I'm just relaxing, feeding the birds, but none of my friends want to eat off the floor. <laughs> Get it? Because we're all birds? Okay, is there anywhere in this main area that we can access now since we have a hook shot? Hmm, looks like we can hook shot across over there. Does look a little suspicious. Sospechoso? A little sus. Yeah, we're definitely hook shotting over there. Um, okay, we start our hookshot journey right there. Man, this hookshot is pog. I love how fast it goes. What do we get? A scale model of a reaper door. It doesn't function. It was probably made to evaluate the designs for modern doors that the reapers use today. This appears to be a reaper's logbook. I'm done with this job. I found the notes from the investigator looking into the events around the disappearances of reapers and the closures of all those active doors. This lord of doors doesn't give two shines about any of us crows. What is it all for? Myself and a few other of the reapers I've convinced to join me are heading for the Forbidden Region to see what we can find. I hope we can start a new life without the commission. A new challenge awaits us. Hehehehe! 
Yeah, they they legit called this the hook shot. I mean, that's what it does. You shoot it and it hooks. How's it going, Elizabeth? Doing awesome. How are you? And I called Tunic a ripoff. Hey, as much as I called Tunic a ripoff, which that game's not out yet, when it comes out, buying it first day. Just saying. <laughs> I'm okay with ripoffs if they're done well. But still doesn't change the fact that they're ripoffs. Mm, let's get more of that, I guess. Yeah, exactly. I, I feel like you can tell the difference between something that has actually put thought and effort into a game versus... Uh, uh oh. <laughs> something that's put time, thought, and effort into something to really bring out the good parts of a beloved franchise or whatever, or an idea, versus something that just steals it blatantly because they know that they can make money off of it. You know? They need a Star Fox Spin-off where Slippy is the main character. What are you? Star Toad! My little friend got into my ink supply, poor dear. Although she doesn't seem to mind. Maybe she just loves the smell of ink as much as I do. Okay, that's what that thing is. So I'm wondering if I should backtrack a little, because we have our ma last magic spell, so we can access areas that we couldn't get to before, or if we just keep pressing forward. I'm, I'm a suck for exploration. I love exploring. Have I ever played Secret of Mana? I have not. Oh, we can grapple onto enemies? Didn't they do a remake or announce a, a revival of that game? Oh, I'm gonna die. I need to play a little bit cautiously. Alright, there we go. Whew! It's a POG ARPG. We have acquired the teddy bear! An ink covered teddy bear. This would be very cute if it wasn't so disgusting. <laughs> so we found quite a few of these. Fast travel back up here, get our health back. Okay, now we have our hook shot, and there were places in this area that we could hook shot. That the game's definitely like, get the hook shot and come back. 
So here we are. Still don't know what to do in here. Because there's definitely something up here. There's a doorway, so maybe... Maybe we'll find where that wraps. Find where that wraps around to. Maybe. So you like Secret of Mana? I still really want to play um, Chrono Trigger sometime. Still on my list of games to play. Ah, okay. I see how we're getting up there. I see. Three hundred ninety five souls. All right. I'm guessing this will wrap us around to where we need to go. This is gonna take us where we're wanting to go here. Okay. Puzzle time? There we go. We did it. We did the thing. We puzzled. now. <laughs> oh, okay. I see now. I see now how we're supposed to be doing this. Borb! How's it going, TD? That was a mistake. Got too hasty there. His lasers just need to speed up. All right. 
doing good. Finished your first race earlier today and you started another, but with spicier options. Who won? Did you? Now, what was the end result here? I guess we did need to come here no matter what. That was a required thing to do. Alright, now let's go this way. Here lies Lord Deadbolt, the fourth in lineage of the Dord Lords. The rule was dark but product produced efficiency among Reapers, an overbearing ruler concerned with keeping order and funding research into other sustainable forms of life extension. Sounds lovely. Yes, he did, because he was actually ridiculously nutty. He struggled on the final boss for like 5-10 minutes, so he caught up a little bit. Just needed one more thing to fight the last boss, but you got it. Nice! Oh, let's talk to you. My life was not easy. The balance of the universe was my duty and mine alone. The Lord who created me had grand delusions about fate and purpose, but fate did not bind me to death's door. Duty did. No other could take on the task of controlling life and death, so I bore the burden. I bore it for as long as I could, even extending my life beyond the bounds set by the pitiful anachronism that is death. When my time finally drew to a close, my successor paid no heed to my teachings. I fear their reign may have destroyed the balance I tried so hard to maintain. What a bitter disappointment they have been. Greatness is seldom free, crow. True greatness may even cost you your soul. Alright. Yeet. Let's get out of there. But, it would appear that... Dead. Alright, what is this? Some kind of signed contract. How exciting! Right now, the one you're doing is the same seed, split nails, split claw, no duplicate major items, and mild skips may be required. I don't know what split nail and split claw means, but I'll take your word for it. Alright, so we have three of these lit. Titan Titans lurking in the dark and cold, the Reapers strike for glory, and not mold. Old gold? Hmm. So normally you can swing your nail in four directions. Is that what you attack with a nail? option forces you to only start with downswing and you can find the other three in items. Interesting. Alright, this one was a lot easier. very quickly. Here lies Lord's Open Gate, the third in the lineage of the Lords. The rule was steady and without hindrance. A, ro a ruler skilled at delegation, they spent many of their years expanding their knowledge while traveling in the vastness of space.
All right, we have lit all of the fires. Split Claw is splitting the Mantis Claw into two items, left and right, which makes it so you can only slide wall jump on the left right walls until you get both. Yeah, that sounds really interesting. Greetings, young Reaper. Your presence here is quite a conundrum. It would indicate that the, co that the course of events which started with the formation of Death's Door had led the universe to the brink of great peril. However, it is also indicative of those actions correcting themselves. Life is merely the universe experiencing itself. And, as the universe seeks balance in all things, we, as parts of it, are all acting to maintain that balance. Stay true to your path, young Reaper. I can sense victory in your future. Okay, seemed a lot nicer than some of the other, some of the other guys that we met. Right now, you're kind of on two different paths. You got an item which unlocked the abyss area that you're probably gonna have to go to, and he's doing stuff in the City of Tears. Hmm. Hey, you got that old elevator working. Perfect timing too, I just finished the next chapter of my song. Yes, let's, let's listen to Barb the Bard song. Song time. I'll tell you a tale as old as time. A classic repeating paradigm. <laughs> a maiden trapped at the peak of our climb. Her fisherman love driven out of his mind. The hero will right the wrongs of this crime. That was beautiful. Stunned silence, that's what I was expecting. To the elevator, which is a birdcage. <laughs> yeah, you can't hide your souls from me. I'm here for those. All right, we'll plant a seed there. I don't think we need it quite yet. Okay, so this game is very detail-oriented with a lot of things that I've noticed. Uh, this is one detail I love. So you read a sign this way to our camp, see you soon. You can s Maybe I can't do it with this item. So you can slice it. And then the little text box on both sides of the sign. They're sliced, I love that. Ow. I, I love when games add in little, little details. Makes me happy. Really, you're gonna make me come all the way back down here? I see how it is. How's Pika's life? What's new? Uh, soon? I was telling Badger this yesterday. Uh, my doctor said that anytime I'm wanting, I can probably get my second COVID shot. Which makes me both extremely happy and very nervous. But I know it's a good thing and I... I want to get it. And that way I can feel like I can actually do more. But... Also a little nervous. Given that the last time I got a COVID shot, a week later, I ended up in the hospital. <laughs> yeah, but I think I'll be fine.
But that 5G reception, exactly. It's a fun little area. Does this game have sculptulas? It does not. However, it has shiny things that you collect. So, sort of? And you can also find shrines that increase your max health and max magic capabilities. How does animated emotes on Twitch work? Uh, streamers who are partnered have access to animated emotes. And I think they can have a max of five? This door requires a key to open. But Twitch did say that hopefully by the end of the year, they're going to bring that feature to... Um, What am I? I'm not a partner. I am a affiliate. <laughs> Twitch said that hopefully by the end of the year they'll have that for affiliates as well, which I would love. Mm, can't quite do that. We aren't quite there yet. Yeah, but right now, partnered streamers, uh, they have access to the animated emotes. But affiliates are supposed to have them sometime by the end of the year. From what Twitch has relayed to me in email. Welcome to the camp of the Free Crows, old friend. We knew you'd make it here eventually, even if you need a bit of guidance along the way. <laughs> we are a group of free-thinking individuals who reject the ideas of the Lord of the Doors. We do not want unnatural immortality if it must come at the cost of our lives. What is the point of living forever if, it, if it's to be as a slave? No, we choose to live free and die free. So go, climb even higher, defeat the beast at the top of the mountain, and claim its soul. Oh, but make sure you're well prepared before you head onwards. Remember, you're welcome here anytime you like. Thank you. Can I talk to you? Welcome, foretold crow. We live a simple life here, foraging and living off the land. We even use fur, fur shed by the beast atop the mountain as bedding. Are we going to be fighting a yeti? Have I watched any New World? I haven't. Nope. Is it interesting? What's it all about? The Foretold Crow, it is an honor to meet you. you find any of our shrines on your journey? It seems there are still eight shrines you have yet to find. So, that means we can upgrade our health and magic one more time each. I'm sure they will help you on your journey in, in the fight with the beast atop the mountain. Greetings, Foretold Crow. This is the Gate of Knowledge. Its eyes see all things. Its heart knows all things, and its soul exists in all things. It whispers to us when we need guidance. It foretold your arrival and your destiny. Yeah, I know nothing about what that game is. It's an MMO made by Amazon. Seems like big money marketing campaign on Twitch. You mean similar to that one game that I played for like a day and then I was done with it and then it doesn't even exist anymore? <laughs> that was also made by Amazon and it was a big, a big flop? Yeah, Crucible, exactly.
Oops, you're on the wrong way. Um, which way do we want to go? Let's go this way. Do we go outside? Maybe we go outside. That seems like the way we are supposed to go. We like to go the opposite of where we're wanting to go. Hey! Phew! It's uh, quite a steep climb getting up here. My pipes are still wheezing. You must be pleased as punch, though, huh? I mean, a secret crow society up here on the mountains? Who knew? They have so many great stories about their lives up here, especially about the beast atop on the mountain. Yeah, I'm getting so much inspiration on our adventure. I think my next song might be the greatest I've ever written. And I've written more than five. More than five songs, Pog. This way to the beast lair via the old watchtowers. Okay. There is a, a bombable door right here. What's in here? You found a shiny medallion. You're a real winner. <laughs> Hear that, guys? We are a real winner. Yep, bombable door. We have arrows. We have bombs. We have a fire spell. We have a hook shot. Oh, it is icy. Icy and spicy. Whoops! You know what we need? We need our daggers out. Aha! We did it. We did the thing. We did the thing. How does the a crow attack? It has no arms. We have wings and we hold the stuff in our wings. We found a shrine. This ancient shrine offers you a shard from a vitality crystal. Hog champion. That was a cool little area. Alright. Let's switch back to our thunder hammer. Yeah, we have four weapons right now. We have a sword a hammer, rogue daggers, and an umbrella. <laughs> this hammer is pog, though. The old watchtowers. Um, can I light that on fire? Sure can. Mm Thought maybe that was gonna stay lit.
Ow! Jerk, leave me alone. What did I ever do to you? We have a life seed. Yeah, I guess those just don't stay lit. Ow! Oh! Oh, good. Good thing there's a little healing place right here. Oh, definitely a good thing. Ah! Heal me. Ouchie. Let me in. No? Okay. Fair. Fair, I guess. Oh, we're facing the wrong way. You know what, this is not going well for us so far in this area. Oh no! Thought I had something else equipped. gonna die guys death incoming yep death have enough souls to upgrade. Wow, even with our our upgrade on our attack here, we're still not doing as much as I think we should against some of these enemies. Heal up. Heal up. Come on up here. Don't have to deal with this stuff anymore, thank goodness. Come to our little boomerang monkey friends. Ow! Stuff it!
Uh, do we drop down right here or... I guess we're going this way. We can activate this lever. Okay, that's the gate at the beginning. Well, shortcut. Hey, what are you doing here? Dang, the weather sure is rough up here. The wind's just howling through my pipes. Still, a bit of bad weather's never deterred me before, especially with the be so close now. Wonder what it looks like. Based on what the crow said, it sounds like a proper monster. All hairy and wild. I can't wait to see you fight it. <laughs> Thanks, Barb the Bard. What's over here? Ah ha ha! Secret! Yeah, doing a little dash attack on these guys. Definitely a good thing to do. Wrecked that guy. Ow! <laughs> Ouch. That was a little painful. Didn't feel too good there. Go ahead and heal up. Ow! Are you kidding me? Anything this way? No. Uh, which way do we want to go? Oh, we can't go that way. I guess we're going this way. Ouch! Man, these guys have, like, cheap shot attacks. Jeez! about to die. That is not good. Oh, this is great. Look at that. We did not die. Uh, what's this way? Hmm. 
Which way do we go? I don't think this is the way we were wanting to go. Uh, There's too much backtracking. Uh, let's go this way, I guess. Anything. This is icy terrain. A wee bit icy. <laughs> there we go. We got got a little too excited there. Got a little bit excited. Ouch. I feel like this is a bonus something we're going to get over here. All for a little seed? Oh my gosh, it's so slippery! Alright. Plant that. Heal up. Seems like an ominous arena. So confused. Where am I right now? Okay. So we came along this way. Okay, this was gated off right here, so we had to come this way. Okay. So where we went, we actually did need to go to. This was the right direction, okay. Once we hop down there, we will be getting into a fight. Let's grab our bombs out.
I actually don't mind the ice in this area because the enemies also are not doing a good job at attacking us. So I feel pretty safe. These guys, however. You can die. All right, that was cool. I like this little arena. I liked it. Now it's very quiet. It's up here. Hmm, do I go up here? Where do I go in here? I feel like maybe this is where a door is. This is it. That's the beast. Oh boy, my heart is pounding. Are you going to fight it? I'm going to stay well out of the way and uh, take notes for my song. Good luck. Okay, so the arena is down there. Activate this. Gonna go get an upgrade really quick. Um, let's get. Hmm. Yeah, let's get more speed on our attacks here. Betty's lair. <laughs> Betty's lair. Still no magic badger. I'm too obsessed with attacking. seen these these moon symbols other places hmm we'll probably come into play later I guess all right let's go take on Betty Betty. Okay. Jeez. But he has a little hairband, it sure does. Holy cow! Betty moves quickly. Alright, we go again. Ow. 
Ow. Man, when Betty does this roll attack, I can't get out of the way. Ow. I feel like this is a situation where I just need to be a little bit more patient with my attacks. Just go in when I can. And when Betty starts rolling, we just yeet out of the way. Oh. Betty the Yeti? Is that, is that what this is? Betty the Yeti? Alright. I think we'll, we'll be a little bit more equipped this time. Poor Betty. Poor Betty? Betty's wrecking me! Poor me! Poor Pika! Alright, I need to, <laughs> I need to just get out of the way. Her claws are pink. It would appear as though my bomb attack is not doing anything to Petty. Ow. Alright, you gonna start rolling? Sure are. Ow! Oh, snowballs be falling. <laughs> Snowball to the face. Man, this fight is serious. This fight is serious. Can I hit you, please? Alright. Not cool, game. I can't- <laughs> I can't get out of the way of that! Jeez! Just spamming the rolling. <laughs> Those roll attacks. Ouch. Ow! Leave me alone, Betty! Jeez. Betty is serious. I rolled into that. Alright. Now do your roll attack. Roll. Oh, 
The thing is, Betty jumps so often. And it's kind of hard to... So you can't use a magic immediately, it has to charge for like a second. So to, to get in a moment with Betty is difficult. Our magic usage isn't immediate. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Yeah, start rolling. Betty the Yeti. All right, we went in for some good good hits there. Oh, Yeti. Betty's a little upset. Betty, calm down. Yeah, that's what a lot of the enemies in this game are. Just learning their patterns and when are when are the moments you can capitalize off of their openings. Stuff it, Betty. Stuff it. Alright, we got Betty the Yeti. Good old Betty. We gather here today to mourn the passing of Betty. To some, she was revered as a god. To others, feared as a wild, untamable beast. <laughs> Rip Betty. And to a small few, loved as a radiant beauty. After many lifetimes lived upon, atop the mountain, supplying locals with fur and untimely deaths, she can now rest. F's in chat for Betty. F's in chat for Betty. Bow your head in remembrance. Pay your last respects. Her time in this world is over. <laughs> yeah, stuff it, Betty. What an incredible adventure this has been, full of twists and turns. So Betty and the Beast were one and the same? Amazing! It means the drunken guy at the Stranded Sailor, was he in love with the Beast? I kind of feel bad for both of them now. Dead or heartbroken, which do you think is worse? They're both kind of tragic. Still, it's great material for a song, huh? I'm gonna start writing straight away. Once it's ready, come by the Stranded Sailor sometime and I'll play it for you. Another demonic soul's anger quelled, Reaper. May they find peace in death. Yeah, rip, Betty. Can I do something on top of this mountain now? Now that Betty is deady? No. Dead Betty the Yeti. Okay. Head on home. Let's upgrade. Ooh. We're doing it. More to that. <laughs> a 
the old watchtowers, Camp of the Free Crows, Castle Lockstone, the Stranded. Yeah, let's go here. Weaknesses in the walls that the eye can't see. Beneath a wooden walkway, a secret waits for thee. There's a frickin' sword over there! I want the sword. So how fast do I charge this up now? Pretty dang fast. Sword looks pog. Oh no. Come here, you jerk. Ancient Shrine offers you a shard of vitality, two more, and we get more max health. Nice. Okay, but there's a... there's a sword here. There are weaknesses in the walls that the eye can't see. Beneath a wooden walkway, a secret waits for thee. So cryptic. Not that way.
Okay. Well, we found another shrine. Okay. Uh, how do I get this pog looking sword? There are weaknesses in the walls that yeah, I can't see. Behind two behind twin columns, a secret waits for thee. Okay, twin columns. See if there are any twin columns over here. I don't think this is it. I guess we'll... We'll kill this guy while we're here. Or, you know, he'll kill us. Yep, he'll kill us. DEATH! Yeah, I don't think we need to go that way. Oh, do I have to activate this again? No, I do not. Okay, twin columns. Well, let's climb up. Thank you so much. Hey, girl, for the follow. I appreciate it. Twin columns. Aha. There are weaknesses, blah blah blah. Where a giant face stares a secret. It's for the Okay, there is a giant's face over here. Blah, blah, blah. Beneath a gargoyle. A secret waits for thee. Where the heck is there a gargoyle? Found one. We exist to serve those who oppose the Lord of Doors. All right, do we get the Pog Sword now? It was a fun little adventure. Hey, gimme, gimme, gimme. Well, this thing looks sick. We got the great sword. This was clearly wielded by an imposing figure once upon a time. You can equip it from the weapons menu. Don't mind if I do. So swing time is um, as much as the hammer. You get two swings like the hammer. It does more damage than the hammer. 
that has a better range. An oversized Reaper Sword, which weighs twice as much as a standard issue blade, and thus deals more damage at the expense of agility. The previous owner of this must have been very large. So I feel like our movement speed is slower now, as well. Hey there, matey. Thanks again. Perfect for my melee build? Exactly. Want to hear it? Yes! Uh Hello? You know, I I would love to hear it. like we are going to end that task and relaunch it. Does that mean we're going to have to do this puzzle again to get the sword? We're, we are reaching the end here. It said 73.1%. <gasps> here, let's have something else equipped. Interesting. The drunk crow did love a lass named Betty. But it turned out she was a big hairy yeti. <laughs> the hero and the beast battled till they both got all sweaty. But Betty the yeti got sliced into spaghetti. And now we'll never see that wedding confetti. Sweaty confirmed. All right. Got our big old pog sword. Yeah, sweaty the yeti. How do I get over there? Literal trash game. <laughs> we get over there via here. Do I get to fight these things? You're off to bed. Have fun. Are you gaming at all this week, Nate? You'd be down for like some battlefield tomorrow, maybe? Ouch. Ouch. 
dead. Give me that upgrade. A silent servant has been vanquished and their soul power added to yours. Your hookshot spell now does a powerful slash if you use your sword while being poured, pulled towards a target. I can speak. Crouching tiger, hidden crow. <laughs> Just unlocked an achievement. Alright, so... Oh, cool. Well, I'm excited to try this on some enemies. Methinks. Thought maybe there would be something there. Found a token of death. Ancient cultures used to place these, place these over the eyes of the deceased as payment to the god of death for f faring them to the afterlife. People from ancient cultures must have had big eyes. <laughs> they must have. Big ol' eyes. Uh, how do you get there? Aha! Jeez! I'm not prepared! damage that slash does. With the grapple hook. Seems like it might do a decent amount. Thank you. Yeah, give me those magical shards. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give that was weird. Alright, let's explore around here for a little bit. See if there's anything new that we can do here. Now that we have the grapple hook. Perhaps something down in here. We were already there, it would appear.
Aha. Alright, some some nice souls for us. Man. This thing does some damage, doesn't it? Anything there yet? I uh, might as well grab some grab some health. There's some beams of light or something over there. Something's happening. We've been here. Hmm. I don't know. haven't been over here. Alright, another shrine. Is this number three? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so this takes us to this bridge. So now we have to run all the way back around. Just follow all the death. I want to go through that portal and see where it takes us. We don't want to go this way. We need to hop down right here. Then go this way. And hop down here. Yeah.
Where is this going to take us? The Grove of Spirits. Oh, is this where I started my adventure? Okay, so I have been here. You found a makeshift soul key. Wonder who made this. This appears to be a very rudimentary version of the door technology used by reapers. It could have been used to open a rift between two locations, but the passage would have been unstable. And certainly not up to commission standards. Not that it matters as large swaths of the workings have melted and the machine no longer functions. Okay. Cool. Back through the portal. Yeah, right now we're just running around and seeing if we've missed anything. I mean, we have. Because we didn't have all of our magic slots filled. We still have yet to upgrade our uh, fire and a uh, bow, it would seem. So hopefully we can find upgrades of those. Hmm. Still can't harm him. Let's go explore over here a little bit. Okay. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep on rolling now. Okay, this is where we first started when we got back to this area. That's where the first tower is. Let's come up here. And that takes us to the witch's place. We don't have the key. don't want to go over there yet. I think once we go over there, it's going to trigger something now that we are further along. Glad we finally figured out how, how this functions. Get some of the souls that we didn't access earlier. Turns out we had full access to them, we just didn't do anything. Just didn't know. We were not knowledgeable.
Yeah, this just loops around. I would like to know how to open this gate down there. That's what I would like to know. How do you open gate? Oh, whoops! Didn't mean to fall right there. There's a grapple spot. going in the sewer. Alright. More souls for me. Aha! And an undying blossom. Its stagnant art is telling of the strange state of this land. We have wandered everywhere around here that we can. I haven't. Well, we're, we're gonna go explore over here for a little bit. I'm missing something big? Oh no. Are you talking about story progression big or just like extra? Because if you're talking story progression big, I think I know what you're talking about. Extra? Hmm, well. We will have to go back then, in a moment. I mean, what could be bigger than the sword we have? The sword is massive. The sword is absolutely substantial. Thank you. Ow. Ow.
All right. How do you get this? Sammy's still looking for the mouse? Did you tell Sammy he wouldn't have... Is Sammy a boy or a girl? I shouldn't assume. But did you tell Sammy that if they had... Boy? If they had just chomped the mouse to begin with, wouldn't have to be on this mouse hunt anymore? I'm gonna die. That would be embarrassing. I would have been a little embarrassed had we died there. How do you get over there? I have to like... You told him he had a lot to learn. Hmm. Get stabbed. Alright. So we got this. Malformed seed. Thank you. out of nowhere. Alright, where's this going to take us? Hmm. I don't know what that was doing for us, but... You know what? It was something. these souls we need to come up here
Go like this, like this, like that. We're almost up to a thousand souls again, jeez. We're just cruising. Cruising right along. Oh, there was a spot that I could jump down in there. Do a little ground pound. And we missed. We missed. Where's this gonna take us? Hey! Give us my health. Og. Uh, hello? Is that really nothing? Odd. Odd to say the least. So where we got the Thunder Axe. Already done that. Now I want to go back to the the starting area. If I've missed something big. <laughs> I don't know what I would have missed. I thought I looked everywhere. No, don't tell me. I'm for sure gonna go back there and take a little peeksee. I don't believe there's anything else to do in this particular dungeon with the hookshot. But I want to come up this way. So I'm pretty sure there was a shrine up here I didn't know how to get to, so...
gonna take a look at that. Yeah, there's a shrine up there that I definitely haven't been to. How the heck do I get to that? See, this is what confused me initially. Is it all the way at the entrance here? Oh gosh, it must be. Okay, I see. And this wall. This little chain combo that we can do. It's pretty mean. Look at this guy. Ow. Look at that guy. Trying to be a hero. Trying to take me out? I don't think so. Alright, one more shrine to go. that. I think we can officially leave this area. We have 1,200. We're so close to maxing out our decks. 
think I think we will wait. Before we go back there, I wanna go here. Uh, to the manor. Yeah, to the estate. Backtrack from the very beginning here. Alright, so that was the entrance into this area, if I'm not mistaken. We're just cruising and looking around for secrets. Bring your weapons and spread joy. That was just teaching us that we can shoot arrows. Excuse me, I had a little tickle in my throat. up a gate. Alright, just got some souls for coming over here. We did it. Got some souls. I know that in this area there were some grapple points that we couldn't do. And it looks like there were some bombable walls that we couldn't access. We're gonna have 1500 souls, easy clappers. are just slaying. Literally just slaying. This is where a grapple point was, over here. Where is this taking us?
They're getting us. Is this where our last magic upgrade is? Oh. A sludge filled urn. We really earned that, didn't we? Okay. So that was a bit of a full circle there. Right, on to the next little area. Murder those. The family tomb. If I like chop the outsides down. Not what I meant to do. How is this functioning? I don't quite understand what's happening here. We'll be back in a moment.
The family tomb. This has to be a puzzle of some sort. I don't know, dude. We'll come back for that, maybe? Already been back here. This is where a uh, shrine was. Is there anything over here? Lovely little tree. Something over there. Okay. It's this direction. And this game's so pretty. Unlocked this. I remember. I remember. Almost at two thousand souls, jeez. Garden of Love.
They're respawning faster than I can kill them. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I don't know if that's anything. We're just gonna move on. Oh, let's spend some souls here. Because we are loaded right now. Missing five of these artifacts. Like 300 short for the next upgrade on that. been here before. Oh, it's a nasty little spider den or something. I wonder if this is what I was missing. This seems uh, pretty big. Seems like a pretty big oversight to not come here. Wow, one of you lived? Impressive. We get to fight a giant spider or something. Okay, does this open up that gate? It does. Okay. Solving the mystery. Just making sure there isn't a grapple point or anything. Nope. I feel like the sword that I have kind of trivializes to an extent these enemies. So we're just wrecking them.
Okay. Badger, is this where I was missing? This area? I hope there's like some giant spider boss. The bow. Ow. Ow. Dead. Death. Oh, just gives me a retry here. Cool. I keep trying to do this grapple attack. kind of doing me in. Wow! The button mashing got me. fireball around it got me. Whoops! Yeah. Uh, I do not like this little fireball. Uh, that was that was a good hit. Ow!
I don't know how that hit me. Ow! Yeah, that one was my fault. Oh my gosh! There we go. Ow! Did it kill me from the grave? <laughs> Are you kidding? I am getting wrecked. Holy cow. I don't know why this thing is giving me such grief. Alright, run away from it, because apparently it still attacks after it's dead. <laughs> Holding my arrow spell for longer will now charge my shot and cause more damage. So we're just missing the upgrade on our fire spell. And an old compass. Yeah, we're just missing an upgrade on our fire spell. Which I'm trying to think of what area that would even be in. Missing four of those. Yes, please. Now we're zooming. Mushroom dungeon, throne of the frog king. Yeah, maybe let's backtrack from here. Let's see if there's anything we've missed.
wonder if there's gonna be any grapple points here. Bring it, dude. Ow. Jeez. This isn't very nice. I have no quarrel with you. Ow. So many enemies here, jeez. So many enemies over here. We're just slaughtering them. Ow! I seriously rolled into the water. Yikes. Oh, the game's like chugging. Game's chugging along, guys. I don't think it liked me doing what I did with the camera. Looking back and forth. Oh. Seems like the camera has resolved itself, so that's good. Uh, 
Ugh. We killed ourselves. Oh, we didn't? That was a close one. Hey, there's a moon over there. I want to know what these moons are. Here's another moon. I did see a grapple point down there, so... Need to go back over there and grapple somewhere. So low on health. It's kind of dangerous to roll around here. I feel like I'm just gonna roll into the water. Nothing to do there. Okay, there should be a grapple point somewhere around here. There's a freaking moonstone over there. And there's a sewer pipe somewhere. I want it.
Aha. Oops. Okay. 590 souls. Pretty good. Climb up here. Man, there's something over there. I'm so curious about it. like lots. There's a lot of stuff to do over there. It would seem. Maybe we just keep pushing forward. Let's go in here really quick to heal. Okay, we're gonna do one more... One more little sweep right here. I really like the music in this area. It's very peaceful. Like, there's obviously stuff over here. Like, there's a grapple point, there are grapple points. Wonder if this is like post game stuff? Cause there's a freaking moonstone. I haven't found anything to do with moonstones. Oops. I was not paying attention. I'm more focused on 
How the heck do I get over to this interesting stuff? Is there more? Can I go anywhere else? No? I have to like come up here and then... Oh my gosh. We're gonna die. Oh, I feel like we can make that. Let's run it back. I don't know if this is cheesing the system, if we're doing something we're not supposed to, but I feel like we can make that jump. I wonder if we equip... this we can make the jump easier because I'm curious When you roll off of something... Can. <gasps> I don't think I'm supposed to be here! Oh, I'm definitely not supposed to be here. What the heck? Yeah, I'm not supposed to be where I am. <laughs> well... I like... Shoot that moonstone... Ah! 
Guess we just have to kill ourselves here. Death! Death by cheese. Death by stinky, stinky cheese. Unless I'm like completely missing something. Yeah, sure. Let's walk off the ledge there, Pika. Like this, there's this ladder over here, and I can see a grapple point right there, but I can't get to that grapple point. There's something I could shoot there. And there's stuff that direction, but I can't get to it. Yeah. Yeah, there's something I can shoot right there. How do... I wouldn't even know where to aim this. Even if I could shoot it. I think there's a wall there. Yeah, there's a grapple point there. This must be something later in the game, because I've seen so many of these moon keystones in random places. It must be something that I can't do yet. Wow, you move significantly slower with the great sword. And, like feel the difference. I'm just chugging along. Yeah. Like here's one. I have no idea what to do with this. Do I spin the camera? No idea. <laughs> also, I'm guessing I had... I, there's an ability that I haven't got quite yet. Let, let me tell you why. Let me show you why. Let me show ya. Gotta get out of this place first, though. This is a shortcut. One of these is. Not here.
Yeah. Alright. So if we go here... Uh, where is it? Is it just here? Might be here. Yeah, so right here... There's a chest. And I can't get to the chest because I can't swim. Why can't I swim, you might ask? Apparently, ravens don't swim. Like, I can come over here. Does not help me whatsoever. Seems more like that can be drained if there's a ladder, right? Except I haven't found anything anywhere that would suggest being able to drain the water. There's some little villagers up here. Wonder if we need to talk to them. Maybe these guys would know something. My ears feel all cleansed all of a sudden. The heart of the forest is now open, but please be careful. Blah blah blah. Feathery hero, I can feel the forest is very grateful. If only Mother's music would calm the toothier plants. <laughs> yeah, the forest is happy! Yay! Happy forest! Happy, happy! Yeah, unfortunately, I have not found anything anywhere to suggest a draining of water. So it might be something that we just can't do quite yet. Ugh! So much mystery. Oh, 
Build watchtowers, blah blah blah. Betty's lair. Let's go back here. Jeffson make delicious soup. Did we save your Betty? No, we killed your Betty. What area was that with the chest in the water? The overgrown forest? So this is a dead guy that the squid is controlling. <laughs> Yes, we'll get a meal from Jefferson. I sure do love preparing food with my multi-digited digit, mammal hands. Now let me tell you a little something while you ingest nutrients. I heard there was a hollowed out wall in a keyhole-shaped alcove inside Castle Lockstone. Hollowed out wall in a keyhole-shaped alcove. Castle Lockstone. Okay, keep your eyes peeled for a keyhole shaped alcove. Climb, 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 climb. I don't think I've been here. Open this. Push lever. Cool crow, bro. Thank you. It is a cool crow. Oh, hey. We found the last shrine. We did it. Birds aren't real. This bird's totally real.
I wonder what fake, fake human bro has to say to us. Now that we found the last shrine. Betty's Lair. Let's come in here. <laughs> you have a good night. Alright, what do you have to say to me, Jefferson? Now let me tell you a little something while you ingest nutrients. Goodness, you have picked the island as clean of secrets as you have that bowl of fish viscera. So what you're saying is you're useless to me, Jefferson. Jefferson's got nothing for me. I'm still missing stuff, though. We don't have a full upgrade on our magic attack, our fire. We're still missing four of these artifacts. So there are still things we haven't done. Let's find our way back into our abode. We'll call it there for the night. We've done some major exploration. Finding all the goodies we can. done as much as we can tonight, I think. 647 souls. One thousand. We are lacking. All right. Return to title screen. Whoops. We are 79.8% of the way done, so we still have a ways to go. We're eight hours in. It's going to be like a 10, 12 hour game. I have a feeling, though. Um after we beat the main portion of the game, that there's going to be, like, post-game bosses, maybe? I don't know. But super fun. Loving it. Absolutely enjoying the... Whoops. I almost erased my game. That would have been really silly. 
That would have been really silly. Anyways, thanks so much for hanging out, guys. Love you all. Have a fantastic rest of your night, and I will catch you guys later. Bye-bye.